Welcome to another one of my math videos. Here we have a square root inside of another square root. And we want to simplify this radical so we don't have a square root on the inside anymore. All right, and before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Chris Sieber, and I'm the creator of all the videos here at Math Meeting. And my goal for this channel is to help you guys as much as possible by creating as many math videos as possible and even fun math algebra problems like this one. All right, so I have four multiple choice answers that you can choose from. One of these answers is correct. And once again, we need to simplify this radical so we don't have a square root on the inside anymore. All right, so I'm going to show you guys a solution. Um, so pause the video now if you do not want to see the solution. And if you do, uh, keep on watching. So the basic idea for simplifying this radical is to make this inside a perfect square. Um, so let me show you what I mean by this. If we have a perfect square inside of a square root, let's say we have a minus b squared. So we have a perfect square inside the square root. This will simplif simplify uh, really nicely to a minus b. Um, so this is the basic idea that we're going to use in order to simplify this square root over here. All right, so how do we make the inside of this square root a perfect square? That is the question. So we need to manipulate this somehow in order to make it a perfect square. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this 7 as 6 plus 1. All right, so instead of writing a 7 inside of the square root, I'm going to write 6 plus 1. And we can't forget that we still have our minus 2 square root of 6 term as well. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 1, and I'm just going to move it to the right side of the square root. All right, so we have the square root, and we still have our 6 in the front, and then we still have our negative 2 times the square root of 6, and then I'm going to move this plus 1 to the right side of the square root. All right, so some of you might see what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make this a perfect square. So I'm going to make this 6 a perfect square. So how do I do that? Well, I can rewrite 6 as the square root of 6 squared. All right, so I'm going to rewrite the 6 as the square root of 6 squared. It's exactly the same thing because the square root of 6 squared is equal to 6. All right, and we still have our negative 2 square root of 6 term. And then I'm going to write this 1 as a perfect square as well. Uh, well, we, we can do that really easily because one is just equal to one squared. All right, so now we have an expression that can be factored into a perfect square. Let's see what happens here. We can factor this expression and it's exactly equal to the square root of six minus one multiplied times the square root of six minus one. And you can double check this work if you don't believe me, you can FOIL all these terms out and we're gonna get this expression here that we started with. All right, so notice how we have a perfect square. Um, this square root is equal to the square root of six minus one squared. Square root of six minus one squared. So we have turned the inside of the square root into a perfect square. This is exactly what we're trying to do. Um, so now we can simplify it um, super easy. We know that the square root of a square is just the inside, so this is going to be equal to the square root of six minus one. This is the solution to our problem when we have simplified this square root. So I hope you guys enjoyed this problem. I have lots of other videos just like this one. So if you wanna keep on learning, uh, check out the link that is in the screen. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see all my new videos and I will see you in my next one.